morning. So welcome you back. Welcome to the city of pearls. Welcome to the land of uh, biryani. Welcome to Telangana. I hope you're having a great stay. We've had a great uh, inaugural yesterday. Ms. Ivanka Trump, Sherry Blair, Karen Quintos, Chanda Kocher. I don't think they could be a more cracker of a panel to begin a day with. So I am looking forward to this as much as you all are. But before we get there, let me just quickly talk about the state of the state I represent. I come from Telangana. My name is KT Ramarao. I'm the Minister for Industries, Commerce, Information Technology, Urban Development. I've had the privilege of uh, serving as a minister for the last three and a half years for the youngest state in India, that is Telangana, with Hyderabad as the capital. Now, in the last three and a half years, we've tried to do some things which are truly unique, which are truly heartbreaking when it comes to innovation, workforce, skilling, etc., which is the theme that we are going to talk about today. On the innovation front, as it was mentioned by Ms. Trump yesterday, today we have India's largest technology incubator in Hyderabad called the T-Hub, which has been doing exceedingly well. And come this time next year, by this time next year, we will be having the world's largest technology incubator slash startup engine in our own city of Hyderabad right here. In fact, innovation has been a huge driver in the growth story of Telangana in the last three and a half years. Our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, for the first time in Indian history, for the first time in the history of this country, talks about startup India. He realizes the importance of innovation. He realizes the importance of skills. He talks about startup India. He talks about skill India. And he also talks about how to ensure that this large demographic dividend, which is up for the grabs for India, because more than 50% of our population is less than the age of 27. More than two thirds of India today is less than the age of 35. So that goes to tell you, India has the largest think force. I don't like to call it workforce. India today has the largest think force on the planet for any country in the history of the planet. As the world is aging, India is getting younger. As the world today, the, the average age you know, goes high and high, India is getting younger and younger. But that throws up a very interesting challenge. All the way from Hyderabad and Telangana government and right up to the United States and Trump administration. The one big challenge every government faces today is employment, is creation of jobs. Now that throws up an interesting question. How do we ensure that this so-called demographic dividend is completely harnessed, is completely leveraged by the governments. The human capital, how do we harness it? How do we ensure that this innovation, in this innovation and knowledge economy, how do we keep going? And how do we make sure, most importantly, women, for whom another added dimension, another compounded problem is the gender discrimination that is rampant across the first world, second world, the third world, irrespective of which country you come from. So we want to talk about all these innovation, skills, how do we ensure we create jobs? How do we also ensure at the same time we create both job creators, a platform for job creators like T-Hub, and how do we also ensure that for those people who are seeking employment, how do we make sure that they're adequately skilled? How do we also ensure that they keep refreshing their skills every so often? So like I said, I have cracker of a panel, and let me start by introducing the four powerful men. I have four, four powerful women. I've never done this in my life, moderation. So I'm a little nervous as well, so you have to uh, you know, bear with me for, a, for the next one hour. Let me start with uh, Chanda Kocher, the MD and CEO of India's largest private sector bank, a woman who's won multiple awards. I can go on and on, but she's been consistently ranked among the top 100 most powerful women by Forbes and Fortune, and the winner of Woodrow Wilson, Award for citizen, co Corporate Citizenship. Chanda, thank you. I think uh, you're here. Chanda Kocher, ladies and gentlemen, a warm round of applause, please. Next, I'd like to introduce Karen Quintos, the Chief Customer Officer of Dell, the highest ranked, most senior uh, position held by a woman in Dell is currently held by Karen Quintos. Karen works very closely on the board of Dell. 
the, high, the highest and the most senior most position, in the executive position with Michael Dell and the entire team. So welcome, Karen. And next, we have a woman who's extremely popular, who's done significant work, who's been a tremendous pillar of support to a former UK Prime Minister, Prime Minister Blair, Sherry Blair of the Sherry Blair Foundation for Women. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome her with a warm round of applause. As I've mentioned, I'm the Minister for IT, Government of Telangana. IT normally stands for Information Technology. For, but for the last one month and more so in the last one week, IT also in Hyderabad means Ivanka Trump. <laughs> the lady herself is here, arguably the most powerful woman in the world. Warm welcome to Miss Ivanka Trump. With a warm round of applause, please. I didn't know what to call her because she dons multiple responsibilities, multiple roles. So I wanted to make sure we capture this moment. We have a banker, we have an advisor to POTUS and many, many other things also. We have a lawyer and then we have a chief marketing and chief customer officer. So welcome ladies and then we can get started. Thank you very much.